Hello. Welcome. Ooh. I think. To Anno 1404. Crikey. Um. Set two, I suppose. I've done a playthrough of this game before. Um, a long time ago. And it's about time I did another playthrough, I think. It's a great game. I've had the occasional request for it because there aren't that many I know 1404 playthroughs online. Just going to turn the music down. It's deafening me here. I've got a new microphone. So hopefully you won't hear the whining of my PC in the background with this one because it has a cardioid response. And the music being behind the microphone should be quieter than it sounds to me. Um, so we'll see how it goes anyway. These are the opening uh, scenes of this fantastic game. I haven't played it for a long time, so I've forgotten a lot of it. I know people often ask me, why the heck do you play these games on here if you don't know how to play the darn things? <laughs> well, I like playing the games, and I think it's a good way to demonstrate a game to a new player anyway, because uh, they will meet the same obstacles as I meet, and someone who's an expert with the game really will go too quickly uh, over over many things. And I think that it's better to stop and struggle and get it wrong, and it may be a bit frustrating sometimes when you know the answer, but for a new player, these are puzzles which they're going to meet. Right, there we go now, here. Now there are various things. I've already been into the options and set graphics and whatnot to how I want it. Um, you may want to look through them yourselves. And there's various options for all sorts of stuff, right? Default is probably okay. Player profile, I don't quite know what that is. Oh, here I am, I suppose. Right. Select portrait. Hmm. Who shall I be? These are these are characters from the game anyway. A lot of these. Should I have the same portrait? Here's a sort of a pretty nondescript guy. Hmm. Makes you think he's a goodie, huh? I'm a citizen. Hmm. No, I quite like looking like him. Yeah. Colour? Oh, I could be a colour. Ooh. I like blue. Oh, turquoise is pretty good. I'll go for turquoise. Title? I don't know what that means. Coat of arms? I don't have one, so okay. I can change my name, have various stuff. Unlock code. Oh dear, I hope that isn't a problem because I've upgraded this game, this computer to Windows 10. And this game has taken me back to scratch. So I'm hoping that I don't need an unlock code because I'll have to stop the recording and hunt for it if that's the case. Anyway, there, that's my profile, I guess. There are scenarios I haven't I haven't uh, downloaded any actually but let's have a look there aren't any there you go ordinary scenarios become a lector take care of your people in a small world free of distractions that is a sandbox game which I actually like the most I'm not interested in fighting idiots, you know. I might just go for that. Earn your diplomatic spurs. Discover and explore the culture of the Orient to become an ambassador between the two peoples. Hmm. Climb through the ranks to become commander. Force your opponents to their knees. Rise to become a master builder. Use the large, fertile islands to erect cities certain to be the envy of all who see them. 
Make your mark as Guildmaster. Carefully nurture your finances to turn your limited starting capital into a huge fortune. Rise to rule the world as Imperator. Build your own empire under the most arduous conditions and against all resistance. So they have a bunch of choices, right? Or there's a campaign game. Easy, medium or hard, where, the, where it's just kind of a tutorial. It leads you through how to play the game a bit. There's a storyline. It's probably worth people who are new to the game playing it once. Um, I'm not going to do that. Continuous game. There you go. Or, that's the easy game. Or, find your own place in a big world. face all the challenges a huge world has to offer. I'm probably going to go Relax through... as you settle the peaceful world. E oh, I can adjust, this. I can adjust settings. Oh. Running my convent requires all of my attention. Select computer player. Oh, there's five screens to fiddle with. Okay. Poet and grocer. Uh, yes, okay. Hard computer player, hard computer player, hard computer player. Easy. Easy. I'm going to stick with easy. I miss my daughter. Would you assist me in my search for her? Mm, I don't know. Is she good looking? Um, map size. I like huge maps. Lots of lots of stuff. This is all very all set to easy. I, I agree with that. Refund of construction costs. I, I guess that's when things I get full refund. Oh, if I demolish a building. Well, okay, that's nice. Seems a bit too easy, to be honest. Um, I'll stick with the settings. Start situation. I have a full warehouse. Hooray! And 50,000 gold. And that's it. And there are no winning conditions, so I'll just play it until I'm fed up with it or I've done enough, <coughs> or whatever, because it's a continuous game, right? So, okay. Let's just start, shall we? I do like music with this. Yeah. 
Now I've left all the tutorial whatnots switched on, I think, in the options. Unless I've done it wrong. <coughs> so hopefully the game will tell us what the heck to do. I have a rough idea, of course, because I've played it before. But it's been too long. Set sail. Ding, ding, ding. Left click. This island Ooh, is to be goodness. your new home. It's up to you to build a thriving metropolis here. Thank you, Lord Northborough. He's the boss, right? And the first thing I need to do, I guess, is build a marketplace. Um, that's what you need to do. I don't know exactly where I should put it. You know, um, maximize my building area by putting it over here somewhere, perhaps. Let me look at the island. Shall I first of all? Oh. Let's see what I've got. Hmm. I'm going to build it over here so as not to waste building area, you know. Um, hmm. See how it goes. Like something like that if I'm allowed to. Say bonk. That will do. Right click to get rid of the building. Or building of the... Ooh. Ooh, scroll the mouse wheel to zoom. Right click to get rid of the building function. I have stone, I have iron, iron, stone, stone, iron, 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 stone, I can see that already. So, okay. Kind of an interesting island, anyway. Might be nice to live here, you know. But first, we have to have some... some guys living here. Um, and indeed, probably a road. Um, I'm trying to drag with the left button, that doesn't work, so I click once. Oh, then I drag, okay. In fact, I don't even drag, I just click and move the mouse. Then I can click again. Oh, come on. Right, I have that. I'm obviously going to have to connect up the... the, the docks. Okay, great. Right click to get rid of it. A load of houses. <clears throat> now I've seen plans and whatnot online on how to how to build your houses so it really all works out super duper efficient. Um, I'm not really gonna do that, you know, because I don't know what I'm doing and I haven't studied them enough. But the idea is you get a load of houses down so your peasants can settle. And for, for these things to work, they do all have to be sort of connected up by a road. Um, otherwise, people can't settle in them. Hard to see quite where he's supposed to go. If I build a road, it would probably help me see. Oh, well. What the heck? <clears throat> there was a bit of... A bit of irregularity there. Let's go down here as well. <clears throat> um, I'm spending money. I think that's honour. Some wood, some tools I have. Because building stuff uses resources. A fisherman's hut. Um, 
Yeah. Thanks to you, we can finally enjoy a Sunday roast again. Yes. <clears throat> Let us see then. If they have enough fish at the moment. Is that because I have a load in stock? Because I don't have a fishing... Fisherman's hut or anything. Let's build a a fish tank or whatever it is, shall we? Your building opportunities have been expanded. Oh, great! It's nice. I guess that's that. Oh yes, I've got a bunch of extra things now. A tree. <clears throat> okay. Cider farm. Lumberjack's hut. A few lumberjacks could replenish your dwindling supply of wood. Ah. Thank you for that slight hint. Know where I should put him, but how about here? There's not many trees there. Nothing can stop your settlement from growing. Thank you. Well done. The progress in your town is practically unstoppable. Yes. Excellent. You will soon be equipped to carry out further building projects. Good. Now let's get a road and connect all these guys up, shall we? Wonderful. Your actions have increased your honour in this region. That's marvellous. Now, as I recall, everything has to be connected up to something so that um, you, like the warehouse, for example. Yeah. So that uh, goods can be delivered and all this business. I might as well go and connect it right up. Huh? I don't know what the limitations may be. There's no room there because I've done it wrong, but I can put a little garden there. Ah, insufficient building material. What do I need? I need more wood. Well, Luckily, I've got these lumberjacks huts now. What's the situation with these guys? He's working at 93% efficiency, producing wood. And he's working at 84%. I guess that's to do with the amount of... or well, the number of trees. It's a number, so it's... A, what's this? Oh, it's planted a bunch. Okay. Let's do the same again then. 100%, fantastic. Maybe I have to wait a bit before I can do some more. Who's that? This ship's crew can be trusted implicitly. Yes. Nice. So, you see I have three wood, but a couple of lumberjack guys here are going to help. <clears throat> I hope, eventually. So what else can I do? Is there anything I can build that doesn't need wood? A tree? <laughs> Mwah. Needs wood. Needs wood. Needs wood, but I have a little bit. Beautifies the settlement. Okay, let's do it. I don't know what the point of it is. 
but it surely isn't going to hurt. Oh, there's room here because I, di I didn't have to leave enough space, so I can put a fountain here. Lovely. Oh. Oh, yes, I've just done that. Right. I can demolish stuff. I can try diplomacy. I can try routing. But do I have a ship? Advanced game options. Alright, okay. I don't have a ship, do I? No. City status, fantastic. So what do I do with it now then? Hmm? Build some more lumberjacks huts perhaps. How are we doing? I have three wood. This is not much good. Can I <coughs> do some trade? I have a load of money after all. I have a strong room, nothing there. Our trading. I want to buy wood and um, 15 wood will be fine. I don't see why I don't buy more. We'll do it well. By, tw by 20 for the time being. And that will do. I don't know what else I might need. So. Look at that! See how eager your people are to express their faith? Oh. I don't have a chapel. What a shame. Superstitious drivel, right? Um. But I have seven wood now. This needs twelve. I'll have to wait. If a boat comes by, <coughs> I might be able to buy some wood from it. Fishing hut is doing nicely. That's doing nicely. It's not out of five because some have already been warehoused, I guess. These guys. Journeymen. <coughs> <clears throat> have this fantastic job <coughs> of being like horses and hauling goods around. I love the graphics. It's really nice. <coughs> There are ascension conditions on the peasant houses. They need drink. Oh, it's well satisfied at the moment. They need company where they got each other. They need a chapel. Why do they have drink? Is I suppose there's some here, yes? Indeed. Well, since I don't have a cider thingy yet, let's buy a bit, just in case. And do I have enough to build a chapel? Yes, I do. You see, you have to try and get the area. Oh, that covers it pretty well. I'll probably have to build several or two or three or something, but so you can put one there and one there, it might be quite efficient, but I'll go for broke with this. Right click to release, let's have a look. Congratulations! A truly divine building. Literally, haha. The citizens are now also living in your city. Citizens are living in my city. Well, I'm not sure if I want citizens yet, because I have discovered... Well done. <coughs> the progress in your town is practically unstoppable. Because you lose money gradually. 
Um, of course. Unless you tax these you people. You alone had the final say on granting citizenships. Yes. Well, I'm going to have a few anyway. I don't know why not. When I'm starting to run out of money, I'll start tweaking the tax system. That is... This sort of thing. Oh, citizen's place. But they need extra things like this stuff. So that is going to wait. I've got to get my peasants sorted out first. Auto save, hooray! Game save. Thank you, matey. Well, let's let it grow bigger first. I thought I'd put it here. But they won't advance anymore, I think, um, which is important because I need to build a load of peasant houses and get the numbers up. I am decided I have got to tweak the tax. It's not essential, I've got 40 odd grand left, but how can I not do it, really? Ah, to be loved by your people or to be hated, it's all a question of the taxes you levy. Exactly. It is time to prepare to set sail, but you won't be seasick, will you? Oh, a flagship. Brilliant. Let's build a few more houses. Because, you know. Oh, we're not building material. Let's join, put a road here anyway. Come on. Left click, and then. Left click again, right. and then right click to get rid of it. I have a boat, yes? Where? What's this? This is the map. Oh, there is the boat. You'll have to shell out a small amount yourself. Well, thanks. I don't know. I accept this trade. What the heck do I do with it? What's this? Next level, citizen goods at his warehouse for me to buy, presumably. Citizen items at his warehouse. The city coffers are now full, but what will your people have to say about the high taxes? I'll, let, I'll find out. Um, Occidental trading post. Well, okay, well, I don't know how to do any of that. But let's explore, shall we? And I don't know how to do any of that either. Right click. Yes. Am I able to, like, set a... What if I shift? Yeah, I can set... No, I can't set waypoints. Control? Nope. Just single right clicks? No. Alt? Not waypoints, no. But there is a set route option somewhere. But this is for trade, yes. Filter warehouses, filter military, create a new route. Yeah, that is for trade. I haven't discovered anybody yet. Oh, well, look. You're selected. Just go up here right, and I'll come back to you in a bit. Action mode? Mm. Defensive combat, that's okay. Ah, left click to set individual waypoints. Oh, that's a patrol. Oh, interesting. You have stumbled okay. across another player. 
Have I? Ooh. Greetings. I'm the minstrel round here. Fancy a snippet? <coughs> la 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 la. <coughs> Try again. Ah, God's creation is manifest in the unique flora of each island. So there you go. On my island, these are the fertilities, things I can grow. Cider, hemp, grain, and something customizable if I plant a seed. What's this island? This is Leif's place, I guess. You can do wine. Or, or is this, uh... Lord? You have sighted new land. Oh, this is my place. No, it isn't. I thought that was Leif's place. No, that's Lord North for us. Okay, and there's nothing there. Okay. So this must be Leif. Fine. New land? Bees. Oh. You have discovered a building on an island. Oh. Is your faith strong enough to look upon the divine in this place? So you give her bread and she'll pray for a miracle. Hmm. I'm a long way from knowing how to make bread. Oops. I could settle the island. What can it what's it got for me? Oh yes, bees. Whatever they do <laughs> in the game. Cider and grapes, that's a good one. Travellers tell the most amazing tales of the Orion. Wouldn't you like to discover it for yourself? Yes, yes, yes. Where's my boat? Is that it? Hmm. All right, let's go down here. Now, what's happening on my flipping island? Can I build some more stuff? A little bit. And I don't know what I need. A cider farm, perhaps. Oh, I have to build that down here, do I? Okay. Let's build it out of the way. Some fields on automatically. I think you can do it manually with clicking that. Just plant a few and then I can do a road. There we go. Cool. Hope it's all working. Cultivating at the moment. Alright, well, good. What else do I need? More peasants, presumably. <clears throat> to get my tax levels up. Because the, these guys <clears throat> are paying my upkeep. I'm a, a rentier. And that's just the way it goes. Stick them in here, I suppose. Yeah. 
a gap for a road. Let's put the road in first so I don't get it sort of horribly wrong. The settlement of another player has advanced. What do I care? Well, maybe I do. I think I, if I build him there, he will not work because I can't put a road outside that space. I can do that. And that. And then I can do a road sort of around the back. Okay. See the general idea. Let's keep them all connected. Now I don't actually know how I'm doing for citizens and stuff. Click on a peasant house. I have happy peasants. And my money, I th think, is going up. Because the lairds of old... <coughs> Blood-sucking... So-and-so's. <clears throat> oh, something happening. Ex exclamation mark over my fishing heart. Goods must be picked up. <clears throat> Pick them up. <clears throat> How many fish do I have? I mean, do it, is it desperately important? <clears throat> I have tons of fish. Okay, not important. Small market building extends my construction area and <coughs> sends a market cart to pick up goods. So maybe I need another one, actually. Let me see. I mean, really, I haven't filled up the, the construction area I've got. I'm not. I'm going to press escape. Or right click, I think. My feeling is I need more wood, basically. I'm going to have some more lumberjacks going. It's pretty good. Plant a couple of trees. You're pretty good already, good. Now roads. Actually, you could go straight down there, actually. Oh. Alright. Can I demolish Can that? Can I count on you? Recruit, recent, rec escort a ship out of this region and take the proof to Lord Northwell's warehouse. All right, I don't know how to do it. Let me just demolish this unnecessary road here. All right, thank you. Where's this ship? Oh, there. Okay, so if I just go over here and right-click in this general region, my boat... Oh, where is my boat? Here. Right click over here, wherever this ship is. Go. I don't know what I'm doing, having forgotten. But doesn't the game look, look good, huh? An island has been sighted. Ooh, another one. If I were playing this on a high level at maximum speed, I'd probably be desperately trying to inhabit all these islands immediately. 
So I've only got my own or some other one. You've got a good deal there. Ah, four tons of cider, eleven tons of wood. Good. For now. Am I able to follow the ship? Oops, auto save. Did he just vanish like the Marie Celeste? Game save. It's a bit much moving the camera all the time, even though it looks nice. Where's this escort? Ship to escort. There. My ships regularly bring me news of His Majesty the Emperor. Well, how nice. Don't know how to escort a ship, but we will see. Oops. My mouse does some funny things. I can rotate the display, but I don't think I can make it go up and down a bit. Or I can't change the angle. It's all at the 60 degree angle. Where's my boat? Is it on its way? Have I given up? Yeah. Here I am. Oh, I okay. So I can left click. Can you lend me a hand with this matter? Maybe I have to right click. No. Ah, what have you got to report? Ah, yes, I do want to begin the escort. Oh, it's automatic. Fantastic. Well, semi-automatic, because I had to click once. It's like those automatic toilets where you have to wave your hand Remember, over the button. If you need anything, you can always come and see me to trade. Yes. Which means they're not automatic at all, of course. And I'm exploring at the same time, which is nice. Let's get back to my island, wherever it is, and see what's happening. I've got a bunch of wood now, I should be able to build something. This one. Um, oh, he's full up, okay. See, if I build another market building, it does allow me to send out another... Chappy. You have stumbled across another player. If you need spiritual or medical assistance, you will find both at my monastery. How about that? That there's some overlap, but I get the iron and, and what have you, so I think I'll, I'll go there. I realise I'm probably not doing this with maximum efficiency. In fact, I'm certainly not, but anyway. You have sighted new land. <clears throat> At least I can get another guy out. Where are we going here? Goldford? Hmm.
Uninhabited. <clears throat> Where was this other player? Ooh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm doing it apparently. <clears throat> Can I do this manually, maybe? Uh, maybe I'll leave it to automatic for now, but it might be interesting. Yes, it's a thing to do. These ships fire from the side, so you do have to be lined up. It's no good running along behind them. But he has to turn sideways to shoot, or overtake. And that's when I can blast him. Yeah. And again, if you can. Good one, yeah. Yes, two shots for the price of one. My ship is faster, which is most interesting. But he's going to sink soon, I think. Get him again. Go on. Land ahoy! Yeah. Isn't this guy going to give up? I mean, you know, if I was losing, I would probably want to go away and fight again another day. Uninhabited island with coffee beans, spices, and dates. I have found the Orient. Or some of it, anyway. It's a nice little reef, isn't it? Look at that. I don't want to interfere with this. I'll just let them do their stuff. Let's change it to aggressive combat. Right, okay. Make him a bit more aggressive for the moment. What have I passed here so far? Land ahoy! More land ahoy, perhaps? Goldford? Which I suppose is some other players. Or is it mine? I don't know. Land ahoy here. Some nice uninhabited islands here. Hemp, grain, herbs, and whatever. Depending on what seeds I can plant. Production has been disrupted. Oh dear. Well, these guys, I guess they're doing okay. I, I... I don't want to break the escort. Let's go back to my island then. They're getting on alright. Production has been disrupted because... Warehouse is full, is it? I don't know. It's increasing. Tools. You have dared to sail into Corsair waters. Well, well. What strange fish have we reeled in here? <laughs> Corsairs are pirates. I'm running low on tools. But for that, if 
I remember rightly, I will need some iron. discovered another player's island. Another one? Oh, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Oh. He's settling the Orient already. Uh, so and so. I thought he was a useless poet or something. Obviously he's not quite so useless a poet. <laughs> Another player has built an oriental settlement. Yeah, I've noticed. Hmm. A ghost ship. winning you see his green bar is down I there's an option to show that I turned it on silk indigo sugarcane now I'm gonna have to get build tools so these guys well they're near the edge of the map hopefully they're gonna leave soon so I need to figure out how to build tools before I run out. Uh, let's go back here. Tools. I will need to do something about this iron over here, basically. Can I build anything? Or do I need... I need 240 citizens. Mm. That means I have to reduce my taxes and have my city grow because I don't have many citizens, I think. 39 is that number? I have 15 houses. Well, that's in that house, right. Not quite sure how I see a trade treaty now exists between two players. Not quite sure how I see how many citizens I actually have. Land sighted. Not enough, clearly. Let's build a bunch of houses. Oh. Citizens need these things. Well, I just need citizens. I don't need all that stuff. So how are my peasants doing? All very well satisfied. So let's just build a bunch more houses then. Production has been disrupted.
Let me give you a hand. Thank you, Lord Northborough. Oops. Game save. Let's see how my boats are doing. They're near the edge of the map now. Where are we? Is that the guy giving up? Oh no, he's just behind. There's the edge. They disappear into another dimension. Shortly. Escort was successful. Let's finish this idiot off, shall we? defensive and just explore over here please thank you <clears throat> and I think that's basically my first hour of playing the game so we shall see if I can figure out and get enough citizens and what have you in part two but that was part one how do we save the game oh ah I see Quest log, cities, fleets, action archive, pipette mode, options menu, save game. Off, a car, off to corner. And two dash one. Set to dash one, that's what it is. Save game. And that's it, and we'll stop recording there, and I'll see you game in save. part two. Bye for now.